Hey guys, I've got something to show you today. These are NeoPixels. I picked these up from AliExpress. I'll put a link in the description so you can have a look. But you'll be familiar with these because you'll have seen them on loads of Adafruit products. Now you can get little NeoPixel rings, you can get flexible panels, you can get strips of NeoPixels, and they're individually addressable RGB LEDs. They have the WS2812 chip on there. Um, you can buy the, oh no, actually it's the 2811 chip but they come in this 2812 thing with the LED attached. I believe that's correct. Now, they're individually addressable RGB LEDs and they have a constant current driver IC with uh, three channels, giving 256 levels of gray across it. So they're really awesome. And because you can just put data in one side, get data out the other, they're chainable. So you can put loads and loads of these together. So let's have a look at them in action. So we've got our little NeoPixel hooked up on a breadboard here. It's in pin six of the Arduino, and we've got a potentiometer and a button on the board there as well. The potentiometer is for altering the color, or rather the intensity of each individual LED that's in the NeoPixel, and the button is for selecting which of the colors we're going to change. Now we're doing that in software. So let's just have a look at uh, what it looks like. So if I alter this one, it should be green. Yeah, it doesn't look very green on the camera, but it is, it is intensely green here. So if I just turn that one off, we'll press the button. And this should give us uh, RGB, it should give us blue. So there we go, it's very blue. If I turn that one off again, and this one should go to red. And there we go, I've got, we've got our red. Now, the reason I've done this is so that I could mix the colors. So if I press the button again, we're now going to be looking at the green one. So I can mix these in together. So that gives us sort of an orange color, not that you can tell on the, on the uh, video very much. And then if I go to blue, we can change it up. But if I turn it all the way up, I press the button again, it's going to select a different one. It'll take that value from the potentiometer, which is mapped to uh, 255. So 1023 to 255. It should give us the whitest possible. Now that's giving me a, a little dot in my eye because I've been staring at it too long, but we can uh, push all of those back down to a very low level. Now these LEDs are three pixel LEDs. So as you can see here, we've got the blue, the red, and the green. So you can see that I've put it on a really low level so you can see them individually come on and go off. And you can see on there that you can, the little chip that's controlling it all as a constant current driver. Now what happens when we plug two in? So we've got the two plugged in now, and all I've done with the code is add a for loop to say, set this pixel to this color. So again, we've got the same code running on both of these, so we can change the colors and alter them as we like, really. So we get a nice violet color there when we uh, change them like that. So they're really easy to use. Um, so we can control it individually. So let's just change something in the code now. So I'm just uploading a sketch now that will only turn the last pixel on. So we can control which ones we do. And you just do that with set pixel color. And you can choose zero for the first LED and one for the next one. And you can do that infinitely for as many as you have. 